welcome back. Um, this is our Christmas in July 2019, um, bought, uh, kind of like a YouTube hop, um, hosted by Dawn H. Creates here on YouTube. Um, if you are interested in checking out everybody else, I'll put a link below to Dawn's um, site and you can see her. Well, today is our non-traditional <coughs> Christmas. So I thought I would share with you guys um, my entry for this. Very simple card again. Um, I just like how it, you know, for anybody that, I can't really personally understand why people don't like traditional colors, but I know everybody's different. And uh, I have to say, I do love how this has come out. It's kind of got like a candy cane feel to it uh, with the pink stripes in the background. But there's a lot going on. I did a little um, glitter star. Then I've just, I had these um, zigzag circle uh, framelits. So I've cut that out. Did some inking behind with the musical um, notes. And then put jingle all the way. I added another um, coordinating, or actually contrasting kind of um uh, cardstock but it's, you can see it's very simple it's just um, kind of an eclectic mix of things you've got a little bit of the pink sequins to pull the pinks out and then a bit of um, old crocheted um, lace so yeah it's, I love it I love how this has come out I didn't think I would really enjoy working with pink um, because like I said I'm true traditional in my um, decorating of Christmas I mean I every now and then I'll I'll stick in some uh, turquoise just because I love turquoise <laughs> but um, but yeah this is it, it it wouldn't be colors that I would choose but I thought how fun you know is that card for um, to send out it's just got kind of like a happy feel to it and then inside I've just got wishing you a bright and beautiful Christmas and a happy and a new year that shines with happiness um, so this card is all ready to go um, I don't know just totally different to my style, but still a lot of fun. And you can see you you don't have to have much um, in the way of um, product for this. It's just tiny little bits and pieces. So think about that in your card making this year. And maybe get the kids involved because this is so simple that, you know, children could easily do this. And wouldn't it be great to put that responsibility off on them this year to 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 do your cards so there's a great idea i hope you guys like it and do check out all the other um talented people who are involved in this there's some great projects so um take a look when you've got a bit of time and i appreciate all of you stopping by today and join me next saturday for the last installment of this i'll see you soon bye